this is our problem number 3 for uh, cables and arches. Still, cables subject to distributed load para yung problem natin. So, determine the maximum uniform loading, W, measured in kilonewton per meter that the cable can support if it is capable of sustaining a maximum tension of 15 kilonewton before it will break. Okay, so ang pinapahanap pa dito is yung maximum uniform loading na W in kilonewton per meter. If kaya daw makapag-sustain ng ating cable na maximum tension na 15 kilo newton. So, yung ating support at A and B is pantay. Okay, ibig sabihin, kung pantay yan, at syempre yung height nito is pantay rin naman sa dalawa, ibig sabihin yung location ng ating C or yung lowest point of the cable is nasa gitna. Okay, so safe natin sabihin na nasa gitna yung ating C. So, this is 5 meters. This is also equals to 5 meters. Ibig sabihin, hati lamang yung ating support at A and support at B sa pag-carry uh, ng ating girder. Ibig sabihin, para lamang sila ng tension. Tama ba? Tension A. So, pwede na natin sabihin to as tension A. Okay? And sabi niya, yung maximum uh, yung ano daw, yung maximum tension na kayang i-carry ng ating Cable is 15 kilo newton. So, kahit saan sa dalawa, pares lamang yan na 15 kilo newton. Ibig sabihin, yung ating TA is equals to 15 kilo newton. Okay? So, try natin na pumunta sa segment AC. So, at segment AC. So, ito yung ating cable. Ayan. So, ito yung ating uh, C and A. Ito yung ating TA. Okay? So, ito yung kanyang vertical component. Sabihin natin AV. And, sabihin natin ito ay TC. And, na-prove naman natin sa problem number 2 na yung kanilang mga uh, com horizontal component is equal sa, sa ating uh, force sa lowest point. So, kung TC to, TC rin to, ito rin ay equal sa TC. So, ito rin yan is equal to TC. Okay? So, ito yung hahanapin natin yung W. At alam naman natin yung distance na to. Tama ba? Kasi nasa gitna lamang yung ating uh, lowest point. So, this, is, this, this distance is equal to 5 meters. Ito naman, ang distance ito is 2 meters. Okay. So, ano ba yung ating TA? Ang ating TA is, is equal to square root of AV squared plus AH squared. Na kung saan ang ating AH is equal to TC. Okay. 